Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, and thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about to, today, take some time and give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Today is August 23rd. And it is National Cuban Sandwich Day. Did you ever have one of those Cuban sandwiches? I don't know. I never had one, but I hear that they're pretty good. So go and enjoy a, a Cuban sandwich on this National Cuban Sandwich Day. Today we're going to continue in our series on barriers to faith. Yesterday uh, we looked at, at a barrier to faith, which is not counting the cost. And are we are we ready, are we prepared to to live the life Jesus called us to live? And that's what we looked at yesterday, so I encourage you to go and and take a listen to that broadcast if you haven't heard it yet. Um, today we're going to take a look at the second one, and we're going to look here at, at the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 9, and verses 59 and 60. That'll be your next verses, and as you're turning there, um, on our Facebook page yesterday, I had asked a question... Let's say that you found out tomorrow is going to be your last day on earth. What would you do today? What if you found out tomorrow was going to be your last day? What would you do? Well, Robert had commented, well, if tomorrow was my last day, I would take take some time to pray, ask forgiveness, and enjoy the company of family and friends. I, should also, I would also take time to get my final arrangements in order and give things away, it would be a happy, memorable, and a very sad day, all wrapped into one. My dad had responded and said I would say my final goodbye and let my family and friends know how much I love them. I would remind them where I'm going and let them know that they can get to heaven also. Then I would do what I do every day, look up, come Lord Jesus, come. Miss Kay had responded and said, I would be so happy knowing that soon I would be with Jesus. I wouldn't do anything but smile all day, smiling while I'm wait. I'm ready, been ready, wished everyone was ready. Michael had also responded, I'd probably tell everyone I love them and thank them for being a part of my life. And I'll see them up in heaven. Let everyone know I'm at peace with leaving so not to be sad. And I finally get to see my mom again and past family. So they should be happy for me. And he said obviously he's continued obviously spending it with the boys doing something fun. Leaving them at peace knowing I'll be watching over them. So they better be good lol. <laughs> there wouldn't be enough time in the last day to do everything. But I sure as heck would try. And finally, my Uncle George had responded as well. I would pray and ask for forgiveness. Ask God for forgiveness of all my sins. Then know when I'll be seeing you real soon. And then have a huge party with all my family and loved ones so they all remember all the fun and laughter we all shared together. Those are some awesome responses that we got. And I appreciate everybody that responded. And um, it takes us into into what I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, the next barrier to faith is heeding the call, not heeding the call. Verses 59 and 60 of Luke chapter 9 says this, And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, Suffer me first to go and bury my father. And Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Friends, this man was called by Jesus. Jesus went to him and said, Follow me. And, and we see throughout the scriptures, 
you know, when Peter, when, when Jesus called Peter and Andrew and James and John and some others, Jesus would say, come and follow me. And they followed him. They responded right away. And Jesus is still calling us today to come and to follow him. But many of us are not heeding that call. And that's a barrier to our faith. Maybe you are heeding that call and you've answered the call to follow Jesus. But that's as far as you've taken it. It's in, and you don't, you aren't actually doing what he's called you to do. This man was, was lucky in a sense that Jesus was telling him what his, his assignment was, what he was to do. In verse number 60, after Jesus called him and said, follow me, and the man made the excuse and said, let me bury my father first. And Jesus said unto him, let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Jesus said to that man, follow me and preach the kingdom of God. But the man wouldn't do it. He asked for a day. He asked for a day so he could bury his father. And, you know, there's some things that, that God's been, I, I had mentioned yesterday in the broadcast that, that the past little over a year I've been going through some tough times and, and a lot of trials and a lot of temptations and things. And the Lord's been working in my heart about things that I've done in the ministry in the past and that I need to be doing in the ministry now. And he's convicted me different times. And and when he starts talking to me and saying, you need to be doing this, I always say, next week, Lord, next week, Lord, next week, Lord. The problem is, next week, don't ever come. And for this man in this story, he was basically asking for a day to go and to bury his dead father. But sadly, most likely for that man, now we don't see or hear anything more about these people. But most likely, that next day never came. And we take time, we don't heed the call. Most of the responses in my question about what would you do if you knew tomorrow was your last day? Most of the answers centered around making sure that you're forgiven and making sure others know about Jesus and making sure others know where you're going and giving others the opportunity to hear about Jesus. Friends, don't let tomorrow never come. If God's calling you to do something today, then go and do it today. Don't push it off. Don't give him an excuse. Don't say, I'll do it next week. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next month, whatever. Just go and do what he's called you to do. He's already called us to follow him. But are you ready to go deeper and follow him and doing the things that he's called you to do? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.